Hey guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV. Hey, you're looking for something that's not 30 feet long, but it's nimble enough to get out there and enjoy forest service land, have all the conveniences of home and room to do some outdoor activities and take those things to enjoy the outdoor activities. Hey, maybe it's a Granite Ridge. This is a brand new model that Jayco's come out with. It sits on the Ford Transit chassis, a Ford Transit chess, uh, cutaway chassis. Now, if this looks a little bit like an Echo, I don't think that's a coincidence. My guess is that Jayco's targeting the Echo market with this unit and for good reason it's a good little nimble little unit so first time i've seen it so we're going to discover it together so one thing that strikes me about this is i have an awning on this side 14 foot long awning but i also have an awning on the back of the coach as well obvious reasons you want an awning on this side what i call the fun side of the unit but in this case we have another fun side and it's back here so i have both coverage on the typical traditional patio side as well as back here before i stray away from this i'll point out that this has been optioned uh, with an outdoor kitchen unit right here so we have our dometic freezer slash refrigerator 12 volt cooler so I can pop this up, throw it in the back of my Jeep or whatever and, and uh, take off. But it lives under here, two burner cooktop and a sink. This whole thing tucks away for travel. Coming along the side of the unit, I have one little propane bottle in here. It's the same propane bottle that's on your gas propane grill at home. The nice thing about that is, is you can swap it out at any convenience store on the planet. So pop that out, put a new one in there, and you're off to the races. Now look at this storage back here. Just to have an example, we've got a cooler, bicycle, adjustable Rubbermaid rack that goes along the back here, this fast track. So these are all adjustable. If you have some cordage and stuff you want to stow and keep it organized. Now along the bottom, there's this J track along with these adjustable cleats in the bottom. So you can strap in some heavier items and keep them from uh, bouncing around when you're going down the road. Diamond plating in the back and then a bungee material up here on top as well, in this case for another bike tire. So this is neat because I can access it from the back, I can access it, access it from either side, and then I've got coverage here. Really handy to have that. Boom, granite ridge. Here's the opposite side of our pass-through storage. Again, you can get a good view of the diamond plating back there. When it comes time to hook everything up, here's your connection center. So I've got a quick connect, hot and cold for our outdoor shower. This looks like all the rest of the Jayco's. This takes the guesswork out of how to hook up this unit. So you're going to hook up, uh, set these buttons according to this uh, guide right here, whether you're winterizing or you have city water or whatever. Whole house water filter, so all the water going into the co coach is going to be filtered. Now you notice we have a gray water holding tank, which is right here, traditional gate valve out the bottom, and away it goes. You say, well, where's the black tank? Very good question. It's right here. Actually, it's not technically a black tank. It's a cassette toilet. So we don't have a traditional black tank. I'm going to release it right there by lifting that up, and this whole thing comes out. It's a cassette toilet. So we don't have to worry about a separate black tank. It's a cassette toilet detachable 30 amp power cord and it's a smart cord you got a blue light up here that's telling you you got good clean power to this point so if you ever have a power issue this helps with troubleshooting because you know you got clean power up to that point down here we've got some little very narrow storage compartments there and these little cleats to keep these up i'll take every little bit of storage i can get so because remember, we're in a pretty short unit. I don't even have the exact dimensions. I'm putting this at about 22, 23, maybe 24 feet long, certainly less than 30 feet long. You've got your own end 2800 quiet generator on this side. Again, we're in the Ford Transit 350 cutaway chassis. That's a popular chassis used in uh, Class B and B plus motorhomes. So technically, what's a class B, what's a class B plus, what's a C? Anytime there's a cutaway chassis, 
which this is, <clears throat> by federal standards, this is a class C. The industry calls it a class B plus because of the cap. We don't have a cab over area up here with a bunk system. It's just angled back, aerodynamic. Everybody, all of us in the RV industry call this a B plus. All right, enough about that. Fold away folding mirrors right here. So if you're in a tight space, you can fold those away. Right here's your fueling location. It's nice and secure. So that pops closed. Coming around to the front of the coach, nice LED lights, very nice. You get a one piece molded fiberglass cap up here. So same principle on Jayco's traditional class C's with a one piece molded fiberglass cap. Hey, this is really neat on the inside. I, again, the first time I laid out eyes on this, I thought, man, it's going to be claustrophobic in there, but it's not, but you be the judge. Let's go have a look. All right. Hey, now we're on the inside of this Granite Ridge model. It's really cozy. It's a lot of fun. I like it. So we have a bed back here. Actually, it will be a bed. I've got two twins here and you could leave it just this way if you want, or you can make it into one big bed. Before I do it, I'll show off some of the storage up here. I've got these little locks on each one of these, pop them in and it locks it for travel. Very nice to have that. And again, we've got option Starlink satellite internet up on top. So that's really nice to stay connected when you're off grid. Now on these shades, you've got day shades and night shades above. Night, day, where you can pop them apart and see out through the window on these tinted glass windows. They're tilt out so you can tilt them out and enjoy the fresh air and not worry about it raining in. But it's nice that you can have day or nightshade options. You can put a TV back here if you want. You got a key block mount right there along with coax cable and power to put a TV back here. Got some storage under here. Nice deep storage there. Nice deep storage here. Pop here, drawer, drawer, same way on both sides. So again, for a very short unit, there's a respectable amount of storage back here. Now, if I do want to convert this into a bed, you have an extra cushion right here. It's got plywood on one side, cushion on the other. We're just going to drop it in here. So if I put this in here, now I've got one big bed. Very nice. Skinny little refrigerator here, but big enough for a unit this uh, of this size. So I've got freezer compartment, shelves for a decent sized refrigerator, additional storage up here. And this is where your induction cooktop lives, at least in this case, you can probably put it up there too. So we've got an electric induction cooktop we can put up here instead of, or in lieu of a propane cooktop. Now in this case, we've got a wet bath wet bath as being defined by everything's in this one room right so i'm going to shower toilet and there's a little sink here as well that folds up out of the way and again remember this is a cassette toilet so this is not going into a separate black holding tank it's a cassette toilet little paper towel holder over here shower wand behind the same blinds that were back there are here as well and your vent to get all the humidity out of here Notice when this is closed, you have privacy when the, from the bedroom. So this divides the back bedroom area completely from up here. Now in the galley area, I do have convection microwave up on top, three drawers below. And again, these are all lockable. So pop that in before you hit travel. That way you're, these aren't gonna open up during travel. So again, pretty respectable amount of storage for a little unit. We've got a JBL flip sound bar right here. So this, uh, it's not really a sound bar, portable sound. Take this off here, take it out. You can charge your gadgets and JBL's a great brand. I own one of these myself and use it all the time because the sound is so good. Really handy to have. Nice wooden sink insert. It's a nice size sink actually. High rise faucet, matte black, not matte black matte finish on it now over here we've got our multiplex system so if we go to the home we've got our master light switches keep an eye on all, all our tank levels lighting i can dim all the lighting from here and then our our extend and retract for the rear awning and front awning as well all on this 
uh, switch. Um, our solar charge control system right here and then our aqua hot which is Eric cell controller is right here. You can turn your burner on, electric on and off here, right on this control. Now coming up here, cute little dinette area. I'm gonna slip in here and what's handy about this table, I can slide this around so it's easy for somebody to scooch in here, come around this way, I can go out that way. Handy to get in and out of this area. Another tilt out uh, window here, again, total blackout day shade and screen right there so very handy now look up here i've got a television an insignia uh, television and then cubbies on either side for additional storage as well now up above right above me there's a skylight too so if you've got a nice sunny day it lets a lot of natural light in speaking of lighting there is indirect lighting above the cabinets here over on that side and it, and underneath the countertop right here as well so it's nice ambient lighting all the way around when you step up into the coach i've got a secondary switch for my multiplex for all my lighting right here my 12 volt switch and my power step switch is right here inside the door handy and right where they should be a little light for the step as you come in and out of the coach obviously these seats spin around so you can expand your living area so these both spin around and open up the living area so you can have a couple folks sitting up there turn these around real handy to have that now we are on the ford transit 350 cutaway chassis if you've watched any of our videos you've seen other coaches where we talk about the ford transit chassis it's got a lot of safety features on it that i can throw up on the screen for you and those will vary a little bit but this will have the sync 3 entertainment system right here on your display and so you can expect things like satellite radio You'll have safety features like pre-collision assist, lane keeping auto, head beam, dimming, and things like that. Very comfortable. These seats are very comfortable. It's fun to drive, actually. It's fun to drive. I love the Ford Transit chassis. It's quiet. It handles well and drives well. It's a really neat unit. I'm wondering what you think about this unit because this is the first time I've laid eyes on it. It's the first time that Jayco has unveiled this. It's a brand new model. If you'd like to learn more about it, drop comments below, questions below. We'll do our best to get to those. This is the Granite Ridge, brand new model for 2024 from Jayco. Like to hear what you think. I always appreciate it if folks click like and subscribe too. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos, whether they're new models that Jayco has been making for years and years and years or brand new models just like this. Hey, my name is Mike. I appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next time.